events in the, in the context of the cosmos, the earth, life on earth, and then, and then history. And so we can look at the cosmos here, we can drill down and specifically look at earth, and this is using HTML5 and uh, applications of deep zoom technology for Microsoft. And then you can look specifically at life on earth, or then you start to get an idea of the scope of time by drilling wow. down into human prehistory. Or then you can say, I want to specifically look at the history of man, and you can zoom down, and you start to get a little bit of an idea of uh, how important we are in the bigger cosmos. <laughs> So there's just some amazing things you can do. If you're, uh, um, I'm going to drill down in here specifically. Um, say you're uh, you're a, a teacher and you want to um, lecture your your class a little bit about um, industrial revolution. What we've done is we've worked with at this point curating uh, with a, a lot of uh, top um, academics around the world, curate, hand curate the data. So what we have here is, um, and I'll drill in. We have these things called info dots, and this is where we're able to embed a lot of data. Um, and so I visualize data in rich media. And so I can zoom out a little bit and look at you know, what's, what's happening in the Industrial Revolution in Britain at that specific time. And these are all based on um, metadata associated with these specific images and they're embedded and you can link the items together in this info box. So you can drill in, and in this particular case, I can, I can go into a document and actually look at historical documents. We look at this as a huge opportunity for museums, for libraries, for archives to make their collections very available. Um, this is something we plan to make available um, to the community as, a, as an open tool. For the, for the near term, while we're in beta, it's going to be a very hand curated uh, tool. And we want to open this up to the community, frankly, like the Wikipedia for, for the material. So I'm going to zoom out again and say another thing that you can do, not unlike what I was uh, explaining to you for, um, for oh, that's not what I'm going right here.